I gotta tell you, I've got a thing for boxwood. I always have. They're such a classic shrub and they're gonna be perfect here at the Garden Home Retreat. We, we just have to have them here because they would have been a part of a landscape in 1830. Actually, boxwoods have been used in gardens, well, since Roman times and before. And just take a look at these two big boys. They were rescued from a farm where a road or bypass was being put in in Middle Tennessee, and now they're here. So I'm really excited about being able to preserve and in a way recycle these 100-year-old boxwoods. These are about 85 to 100 years old. And you take a look at this size over here. These are about 40 to 50 years old. Now, these are all Buxus sempervirens. Sempervirens, Latin for evergreen. Now, just on the other side of these, near the hedge, I've got a ring of boxwood, and that particular variety is called green velvet. It's a cross between Buxus sempervirens and Buxus microphylla. This boxwood has proven to be a little more cold hardy and a little more disease resistant. In the center of that ring, I have peonies planted, and in the spring, they are absolutely gorgeous. Now, in my town garden, I have planted almost exclusively Buxus microphylla, a different boxwood. It's from Asia, faster growing, but I've used it in lots of different ways. I have it as borders, I have it as walls around the rondelle, and I also have it as low borders in the fountain garden, which have gotten a little too tall. So this year, I'm gonna cut them down to about half, and they'll flush with new growth in the spring. Now, an interesting thing about these plants, boxwoods that is, they can live for a long time. But some key things you wanna keep in mind if you plant them is that they should have very good drainage. They cannot stand wet feet at all. If they do, you can begin to see some discoloration in the leaves and they'll ultimately die, depending on how bad the drainage problem is. And when you plant them, you wanna make sure you plant them just a little high. They don't like a lot of mulch or certainly soil up around the crowns of the roots. If you want gorgeous boxwoods like these, plant them just a little above the ground level. Now, I like to use boxwoods in lots of different ways in the gardens of some of my design clients. For instance, take a look at this garden. It's very simply designed. We use boxwoods to create an alley or a room with walls on each side. And at the end, you have some holly trees and a little fountain. Very simple but effective. I also like to use boxwoods simply as punctuation marks, ways of framing or dotting the outside of a house. Just by assigning them on the corners or by steps, you can create focus and accent on certain areas. Now, since boxwood will take the knife or they will shear very well, they're excellent for creating patterns, like here in front of this 1840s historic house. As you wander down the sidewalk to the front door, you see a pattern which ushers you forward and slows you down slightly, allowing you to take notice of the details around you. As you can see, boxwoods have applications in lots of situations, so it's easy to understand why this plant has been a mainstay in gardens for hundreds of years.